what's up everyone welcome back to another video in this video I'm going to be showing you how I got this style right here and at the end I am going to talk about a few different styles that you can achieve with this one hairstyle you can do so many you can get really creative with you know styling your hair within having a crochet style if that makes sense but if you want to see more make sure you continue to watch all right ladies let's go ahead and get started on this hair the hair is from toyo tress it is their deep wave hair so it looks like this you get eight packs of hair in the pack and i will have everything linked down below so you also get a crochet needle so you get everything you need to complete the style whenever you purchase this hair this hair is 12 inches in length i didn't want anything too long i counted these up and you get about 15 pre loop pieces of hair let's go ahead and take this off my braiding pattern is always the same i rarely switch it up so i have 10 braids going across the front don't need too many i used to do a lot more i used to do about 12 to 14 just depending on the style and the type of hair and the look that you're going for but I really don't need a lot now I usually do five braids in the back but I ended up only doing four and now I just have this piece left so I'm going to go ahead and um, sew this up with needle and thread this step is optional so what you're going to need is a curved needle like this and you're going to need a spool of thread on one end of the needle the end that's not sharp you're going to pull it through you don't need a lot so I'm going to get about this much it's going to give you a lot of room to work with and then you're just going to go ahead and sew this piece of hair up so I usually just crochet the hair up but the last time I did my hair y'all I I cut my hair because when you crochet it up it doesn't stay it's not really secure so doing like you doing different styles and maneuvering with your hair the um, braid comes loose and when I was cutting my hair out I cut my braid so my hair is a little shorter in the front and I was a little upset at first and I'm like okay it is what it is and then you just cut the string and boom first piece is already pre looped for you which makes it so much easier first things first you take your needle and you go up, put the hair on the hook, close the hook, pull through. Once you pull through, you want to take this end of the hair, take it through the loop, boom. Now when you're doing hair like this, it can slip out. So what I'm gonna do is do a double tie. So I'm going, I still have this piece in my hand and I'm just going to twist it, twist, take this end and pull it through. Go up underneath the braid, pull it through, take your pre-looped hair, put it on the hook, you close the hook, pull through, take it off the hook, put the hair in the hole, twist this loop right here, twist it, boop, put it through. All right, girls, so we are basically kind of done. I think I'm gonna put these last few pieces in. I ended up using all eight packs, but you see how this side is flat? I already began to fluff out this side. So what I'm gonna do is just take my fingers and just roll it through the hair just to give me some volume because I don't like that flat look. You see this flat look? That's not it for me. So I'm just gonna run my hands through it. You see how that Oh, I love that. So I'm going to do this and see what parts. And as I'm doing that, some of the hair is like shedding, which is fine. Um, so yeah, just run my fingers through it. Y'all see the difference? So this is the side that I fluff. And it's better to do this as soon as you put it in because the hair is entangled or anything. So it's easier to run your fingers through it. And then we're gonna go ahead and do this side. It just makes it look more full and it separates the hair. Just makes everything look blended. So as you can see, I'm getting all of the excess hair out. So what you wanna do is go ahead and play around with the hair, part it. So that's why I like to leave a few strands because now I see that I wear my hair parted on this side and it looks good, however, this part right here you can see a braid so that's why you want to make sure you have a little hair left over just to fill in certain spots um, after you just start playing around with it so we're just going to go ahead and fill this in 
And let me tell you about a trick. So sometimes this hair can get a little loose at the root right here where you tie the knot and it can kind of slip out. So what you want to do is take a comb and you go like right here and go down go down on it and that's what's going to help keep that knot so you can do that like in your part area to make sure the hair isn't looping so you see right here the loop is kind of coming up you take it slide it down as, as much as you can and then you take your comb and just so yeah there you have it I'm going to do my makeup real quick and I'll be back to show you guys the finished look and maybe I'll show you a couple different you know styles you can play around with to change the look up what's up girl so I am back and I'm going to finish up on my hair I just did my makeup I did a whole video on it and I was answering some questions that you guys sent in on Instagram and majority of them were like marriage related questions but I want to show you some different styles and also slick my edges down so I'm going to use the 24 hour edge tamer this is by Ebon or Eben New York and that's what keeps your girls edges down this step is definitely optional but I just feel like it seals the deal with the style and just makes everything look put together I like to use my big brush you can go in with a little edge brush if you want to I'm not doing anything crazy just some little swoop you can either do it like in the middle which is cute or you can do like a little side part action that is cute, look real nice. Or you can, you know, if you wanna do half up and a little ponytail up here, I need a little ponytail holder. Just to show you how it looks, all I have is purple, but it's all good. So you can either, you know, do it like this and wear it cute out of your face. Love it. Or you can do like a little ball up here. I love doing like a little ball action up here super cute you can also if you just want to do all of it and you just want it off your face none of it in your face that's cute take it all back so it's a lot you can do with this hair right here I didn't cut it or anything I feel like this length it just gives you the natural layers I may like do a little shaping to my face on this side but this is pretty much it the hair is from Toyo Tress. The curl pattern is Deep Wave. I will have it linked down below. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you found it useful, of course, give me a thumbs up. Share it for someone else to see. And subscribe to the channel for more videos. But I will see you guys in my next video.